Hi Aquarius, welcome to your quantum reading. This is for Aquarius Sun, Moon, or Rising, and as always, welcome to my Cross Watchers. Cross Watcher, you could be dealing with an Aquarius, and the message could be for you, so feel free to take it however it resonates with you and your situation. Keep in mind that these are general and timeless readings, and if you guys are wanting to book a one-on-one, -on -one, my website information is down below in the description box. Just go ahead and subscribe your email there, and that way you'll always get an email notification every time my availability opens up. And as always, thank you guys so much for liking, subscribing, thank you for all the ways that you've supported the channel. Okay. And let's go ahead and dive in. I can't remember. I think it was Scorpio that then tons of people have had that. Okay. Wow. All right. Aqua. Um, I feel so... Oh, before I jump in, I made this video about the solar eclipse, how it's going to be affecting you. If you guys want to check it out, it's just a useful video. There's going to be a link up above and a link at the end of this video, if you would like. It's just helpful information. Okay. Um, automatically what I'm getting from this situation, I think that you're going to be going into something and, uh, like with a particular person, I think that someone is feeling left out. I mean, orphan card, right? It's, you might also be feeling that there's the maiden of wands. Okay. I kind of feel like that's you Aquarius, but let me see. I kind of feel like this fiery energy from you. Oh, wow. And look at that. Wow. <laughs> this is hilarious. Okay, we have the King of Wands. Someone could be coming in or approaching you in some way, shape, or form. And it could be someone older than you. Or it's it's like, I do want to say it's a masculine energy. However, that's applying. Um, I feel like this person right now is pretty sensitive to your energy like you rejecting them okay because i think that you see right through them in some way for some reason i want to say that you're like a spitfire or your words are very cutting this person is afraid of what you will say and i almost <laughs> i almost feel like this person feels like they're at a dead end with you however that's applying like you might have completely cut them off and with the fault line and I think that's why because something about your energy could be kind of like you're trying to piece back together certain things in your life and I'm not sure if this person caused the fault line or if this is someone similar to someone else that caused the fault line I think that there's like this really interesting wow that popped right out there's this interesting energy kind of flipping around where you kind of like you might have dealt with someone that you were when you were younger that might have caused unconsciously some trauma like I think that's just like what naturally played out between the two of you it was just this unconscious way that things happened and um then you started going through life and you played out like those patterns unconsciously because those memories were stored inside of you some type of energy is circling back around and I don't know if it's someone like a particular person from the past where some pattern started and so you might have like a little bit of this fire inside of you. I feel like someone's a little bit like cautious. I keep getting a little bit cautious to approach you. Um, Six of Pentacles. Okay, well this is looking pretty good so far. Queen of Pentacles. Oh, huh. Oh, what? Holy freaking crap. Okay, I'm going to take that. And oh, look what jumped on the ground. Okay, yeah, we'll take those. This is interesting. Okay, I'm going to show you really quickly because what jo jumped out on the ground, but I'm not going to completely pull them out. The Page of Wands jumped out, which is, again, at the beginning. And the clarifiers with it are Eight of Pentacles and the Ten of Wands. I feel as though some type of situation, like you've been really working hard to complete something. This Ten of Wands is some type of burden that you're trying to complete. And you've been really hard focused on it you've been like and that's also why I feel a little bit of this energy where 
you might have to take time out a little bit to just for a little bit I don't know I almost feel like this person is wanting your attention in some way shape or form this is a very charismatic or very attractive person in some way shape or form and <laughs> It's interesting, like, it doesn't just have to be romantic. It could be because these two fire signs, there is either a lot of fire and passion. It could be an attraction. But say, for instance, this is family. Definitely not that. Then, then it's more like you guys have a similar type of fire to you that it's, it's a little intense. Okay, so... The water is coming in to put out the fire. Look what this person, I think, feels some regrets. Five of Cups, there's like maybe something... It could be something that happened between you two in the past. But here's what I'm a little iffy about. Because like, look at this. At the base, and I'm going to take these two together because we have the Queen and the King of Pentacles. Um, That could be you I mean that could also be some type of separate partnership um this is a couple somehow some type of committed couple that's coming in I don't know if you're in a current commitment or um if that's like in your family this is just coming in somehow and I feel as though there's like this strong desire to come together there's this six of pentacles that's some type of generosity or like either with your time or money, but there is a heavy money influence in on this. Okay. Um, here's what's interesting because the seven of swords is what's a little bit like standing out to me at the end. Aquarius, I almost want to say that to you. Some, for some reason in this situation, I get that you, like you're perceived to be a very calculative and strategic person, maybe even kind of sneaky. Like people might see you as like, here's this exchange that's going to happen somehow in this dynamic. There could be this coming together. This Ace of Cups is going to be some type of new love or an emotional rebirth that comes in. And, and there might be some, this could be an apology that comes in because the Five of Cups is like disappointments, regrets, looking back at the past, looking back at some type of thing that crumbled apart. But interestingly, there's been some type of a, like accomplishment here. And I'm wondering if this is you, Aquarius, if you if if this is you personally, other than the whole couple thing I was mentioning earlier, you might have progressed here in some way. Like you could also be doing that monetarily. You could be up leveling Queen of Pentacles, King of Pentacles. And now like this King of Pentacles person has the ability to be generous or be kind of like this um, charity giver. You know what I mean? Very generous in a situation. But someone here is like sneaky. There's like a these are interesting energy combinations because this is very sneaky and calculative. And I almost wonder if someone might be coming in to charm you a little bit. Um, possibly like in hopes that you will give something. Do you know what I mean? It feels kind of like that. And at the bottom, <laughs> this higher font energy kind of feels like you. I'm not going to lie. I almost feel like you want to teach them a lesson. Or your and all in all, I I feel like the universe is coming in to teach you a lesson through this whole interaction. It's not very enjoyable, but also you're gonna have Ace of Wands. I feel like, in a weird way, if you are somehow meeting up with this person, or there's some type of interaction that's happening here, or an opportunity that's gonna arise where you go into this situation, Ace of Wands is gonna be some new attraction or something random that pops out here i almost feel like there's something that needs to be cleared up here um and it's maybe just this lesson it, it you're gonna have to see how this freaking plays out because the higher font is just like teacher student and it could be about maybe seeing someone's deception that could be one side of it because i'm not always a fan of if the king of wands and the seven of swords come out together that could be a taking advantage of i almost feel like this is a person that knows how to touch on 
your sensitivity to feeling left out or feeling alone or feeling like you're different in ways, you know, you're the unique one, Aquarius. Like you're the maybe quirky or you're the like the one that sees different than other people in your environment or situations or things like that. You You see things different or you see beyond certain things. And that's what also makes you kind of unique because sometimes you just don't give an F about fitting into certain situations, at least from what I'm getting. The orphan can be like two sides of the coin where you like being different, but also at the same time, sometimes it can be lonely or you feel like you just like don't fit in. But there's this new, there are these new energies that are coming in here. These might be new people that you meet. Like... Ace of Cups could be new love. That could be a new friend or a new family. Someone that you really connect with. And this Ace of Wands also could be a new attraction that comes out here. Let me grab a, we'll grab a door. Let's see what's popping out through this situation. Oh, wow. Your door. I think this is what it is. Inner power. By your own command, you brought yourself here at this moment in life. You have nothing to fear. Yeah, I think this is a person that you might be, you might kind of like, I don't know, be standing up to, or you're, you might develop your inner power in this situation, however that is. I almost feel like there's an exit strategy with this Seven of Swords. Something about you, like you've changed. You've changed in this situation, and now something, if this is you, like you have like this monetary ability to kind of you have this power within you now to kind of get out of a certain situation where maybe in the past you weren't able to it's switching up the whole game like almost it'll be interesting to see how these people or this person interacts with you because you're very different you're not the same anymore like you've transformed a lot I think this person might try to talk down to you but you're not there anymore I almost want to say this king of pentacles could have been you so I'll dive into the extended. We'll see what wants to come out, Aquarius. So if you guys want to join me over there, feel free. Go down below, click on the Vimeo link, and I'll see you over there. But Aquarius, if this is where we leave things, I'm sending you guys so much love. Wishing you all the very best, and I'll see you in your next reading. Take care.